Welcome to the Jaffa programming tutorial. I've just noticed um, I've actually cleared this um, icon twice. I've done it in the graphics and I've done it in the constructor. Um, I'm going to sort that out. I'll be able, I'll be able to take this away um, and leave it in the constructor. So, so it's, I can take what I need to do is copy this here and you see in the constructor I've already got that but I've got the, the mad boy sprite in there instead of it so what I'll do is paste that in here and so I'll be able I've already got the background and that in the constructor and so I don't need it twice so I can take get image and that away and they can take this away here. Right, so, and what I can do is save and run the program and show you it's working. Right, so it's working. Um, so what I'm going to do now is this this um, sprite moves to the end and then it starts at the beginning again, keeps moving right, moves to the beginning. Then what I'm going to do is get it going, moving right and left and up and down and to do that what I do need is two um, boolean um, variables and one for right and left and one for up and down so we'll do that now so if I go back up to the top before I construct declare um, two variables one called right and one called Inside the constructor, we'll actually assign initialize them. Um, so after here, we'll go right equals true and down equals true. Now, a Boolean um, variable is true or false, there's two conditions. And that's all we need to move right and left is true and false. True when it's moving right and false when it's moving left. And up and down. True when it's moving down and false when it's moving up. So that's us initialised it. Um, so if we come back down here, what we've got inside inside this part here, um, we're adding um, adding two I'll, I'll make that ten and make this ten make it go a little bit faster and so we're adding ten to the, the image so it's moving ten pixels at a time and I'll show you this happening so it's moving a wee bit faster and it starts there so now we're going to have it moving to we're going to have it moving to the left once it gets to once it gets to the end. And so how we do that? We're going to do another if statement. If right is equal to true, then it's to move right. And we to this. So that's that's for moving right. Now inside here we want another if statement. So once it gets to 450, we want to change this variable right to false. And once it's false, we'll actually start moving to the left instead of a plus it'll be a minus. So if right is equal to false. Well, no if x2 that's the one that's going to equal 450 is equal to 450 then right is equal to false now what we need once it's false it's not going the, the if statement's not going to be executed so straight after this if statement 
you want another if statement and it's if right is equal to false so if right is equal to false So inside here, what we're going to do is x1 um, is equal to x1 minus 10. So it's going to move back at the same speed. And then we're going to go x1, x2 is equal to x2 minus 10 again. So the image is going to move back um, 10 pixels at a time until it gets to until it gets to zero, x1 gets to zero. We're testing for x2 for going right, and we're testing for x testing for x1 for going left. So if statement x1 is equal to zero, right is equal to true. So what we're saying here is. Right, it's moving back until the, the image gets to um, 0x and then we change um, the variable right to true and then it will start to add 10 and start moving to the right again and so that's what we're seeing there and so I think we can take this part away here let's see what happens on the program it should bounce back It should go. Yeah, it's doing it right that way. But there was something wrong when it first started here. But that's what it's supposed to do now. It's meant to go from the left to the right. I'm going to start that again and see if there's. Yeah, something wrong with the program. Stopped here. Okay, this is all right. I think this code here that I've done to slow it down. I think I'll take that away and see what happens. So it'll move a lot faster. I think there could be a bug with that code. See how fast it's going. Right, and so what we'll do is is one pixel at a time. it's going fast it's stopping it it's stopping there because the computer I'm using is so down or something there's something happening that's slowing the computer down that's why it stopped um, so but it's doing what it's supposed to do there was something wrong with that code and so we can use a timer we can use a thread and um, to slow it down because it's running so fast but that's how you move to the right and to the left. Let me see now. Is there anything else? Yeah, we want to do the same for to go down. And so what we'll do is we'll just cut and paste this. And we'll change this to down with a D. And the same here. So, and it's Y instead of x and it's y here but it's not going to be the same values with a comment out this part okay. so it should move up and down 
it's going off the screen because we've got the wrong file use in it but you can see it's jumping up and down we stopped again because my computer is so busy at the moment um, so what we've got here is the size what's the size of the frame let's see it's 350 okay and so instead of that's going to zero and this one should be like 350 so it's bouncing up and down and it stopped again because my computer's so busy um, and so so that's what's up that's how you move up and down now what we can do we can add a key listener so that we can control if it moves up and down or or left to right so that's animation um, we're not finished yet that's just us beginning and so I hope that's been of some use and, and again thank you for your time and thank you for listening